Did you know that the Grand Canyon is bigger than the states of Rhode Island and Delaware? However, the colossal canyon in northern Arizona is much more. It is home to grotesque Ice Age creatures, breathtaking fossils, and hotly disputed artifacts. What incredible things has this gigantic natural wonder already revealed, and what mysteries still slumber in obscurity? Will we ever succeed in uncovering all the secrets of the Grand Canyon, or are we not meant to know the whole truth at all? Located in the U.S. state of Arizona, the Grand Canyon attracts millions of visitors from all over the world every year. No wonder, while the canyon stretches over a length of 450 kilometers and plunges to dizzying depths, it shows the elemental force that is truly inherent in the processes of nature. The architect of this natural wonder is considered to be the Colorado River, which has eaten its way into the rock of the Colorado Plateau over thousands of years, creating one of the most impressive structures on Earth. And when Norwegian geology professor Alan Krill went to the Grand Canyon National Park a few years ago, he also wanted to see for himself the overwhelming excesses of nature. But what began as a serene hike with his students resulted in an unexpected sensational find. A particular boulder caught Krill's eye, located next to the trail and passed by countless people every day. But it seemed that no one had ever looked closely before. The geologist discovered a series of strange marks on the rock, which he photographed and sent to his colleague Stephen Rowland. Afterwards, the University of Nevada paleontologist found out that Krill had just discovered something much more significant than he had even suspected. These were by far the oldest traces of a vertebrate in the Grand Canyon. Even more important was the fact that we are dealing with the oldest imprints of egg-laying animals, which at the same time represent the earliest evidence of vertebrates in sand dunes. Since the corresponding chunk had once broken off from the Monacacha formation, the experts were able to narrow down the mentioned age quite precisely, thanks to the detailed geological map of the layers. Thus, the imprints were pressed into the subsoil about 313 million years ago. The analysis of the traces showed that the responsible animals showed a so-called lateral sequence. This means that first the legs on one side of the animal moved one after the other. The rear leg followed the front one. Dogs and cats also move in this way when they walk slowly. The traces of the past. Rampart Cave in the Grand Canyon once made the headlines because one of the most unusual fossil deposits in all of North America was found here. A blanket of Shasta sloth excrement. Extinct for about 11,000 years, these herbivores could reach a length of about 1 meter and a weight of 225 kilos. In the summer of 1936, the National Park Service sent a number of experts to Rampart Cave, who immediately recognized the extraordinary significance of the site. The excavations that followed brought hundreds of fossils to light, but unfortunately, what is invaluable to researchers is a suitable place for others to wreak havoc and destruction. For although the cave entrance was protected by a gate, in 1976 it was broken in two and a fire was set. The blazing flames ultimately engulfed 70% of the fossilized dung deposits. Prior to the fire, the dung cover averaged several meters thick proving that Rampart Cave was used by sloths for an extended period of time. In detail, the lowest layers took the experts 40,000 years into the past, while the youngest deposits were between 11 and 13,000 years old. In turn, the plant fossils in the sloth dung provide important information about the ecosystem and climate. From the approaching ice age to a warmer and drier interglacial period, the excrement shows that sloths ate a variety of desert plants, this diet may also help us reveal the true reason for the animal's extinction. Since the plant species were still thriving at that very time, it is reasonable to conclude that the sloths ultimately fell victim to massive hunting, rather than a shortage of food. The Great Unconformity The Earth's geological diary entries are incomplete. As is well known, each era of the Earth's history has left its individual traces in the Earth's crust. After our home planet was first a boiling hot lava ball, sandstone was deposited on top of the ancient lava rock, with coal, limestone, and other relics on top. With each further layer, the Earth opens thus a new chapter of its own biography. However, obviously, many pages were torn out later again. 
Thus, geologists can trace the history of the Earth well in the rocks from the beginning until a billion years ago. But the 500 million years thereafter are missing to large parts. In the expert circles, this mysterious gap is called Great Unconformity. However, the missing passage was a drastic era. Here, the first more complex living beings formed. The strange creatures that emerged at that time can therefore only be studied in the few places where the Great Unconformity did not strike. These include, for example, the Ediacara Hills of Australia, which bear witness to the fact that the Earth's inhabitants of that time looked quite unusual. Some of them visually resembled ferns, others flat pancakes. Until today we do not know why the so-called Ediacara creatures disappeared again from the scene. Since none of the discovered fossils bore bite marks, the conclusion is obvious that they lived a peaceful existence in the shallow seas of the Precambrian. Are we dealing with the precursors of higher life forms? Or did the inhabitants of that time have no connection to the following species? Were they something like a freak of nature gone astray? Did the disappearance of the rock layers have something to do with their demise? Some researchers believe they have now found the answer for the missing deposits in the Grand Canyon. Here, the scientists found tiny zircon minerals that can only form at a depth of 7 kilometers. This led the experts to conclude that the 7 kilometer thick rock layers above must have disappeared. In the Grand Canyon, the rock gap is particularly large, covering just under a billion years. In other words, the layer that lies above the 1.4 billion year old rock is just 500 million years old. And at this point, the large continent Rodinia comes into play. This formed a billion years ago, before it began to disintegrate again, 800 million years ago. The uplift of Rodinia, experts say, caused seven kilometers of sediment to be lost to erosion in many parts of the world. A great deal of volcanic heat had probably built up beneath the giant mainland. As the magma pressed from below, the rock crumbled before eroding as a result of land uplift. In the process, not only was a seven kilometer thick layer of the Earth's crust lost, but also countless fossils that would have given us a deeper insight into the development of terrestrial life. Egyptian artifacts, in 1909, readers of the Arizona Gazette might not have believed their eyes. For example, an article told of a certain Smithsonian researcher named G. E. Kincaid, who had discovered something in the Grand Canyon that turned the entire historical record on its head, a secret site once inhabited by the ancient Egyptians. While the first report was still quite sparing with the details of the sensational find, the second gave an overwhelming insight into a world that actually should not exist. There was talk of an entrance that Kincaid spied 600 meters above the bed of the Colorado River. After he had gone through this, he found himself some hundred meters further in a vault again that a row of mummies contained. Furthermore, he wants to have uncovered here many further mysterious traces. These ranged from weapons over copper vessels up to cryptic hieroglyphics on the walls. In addition to the image of an unspecified deity, the researcher also claims to have seen depictions of long extinct animals. Deeply impressed by his discovery, Kincaid grabbed everything he could somehow carry to bring the archaeological treasures to Washington. The newspaper article concludes that the Smithsonian Institute will take up the cause and soon begin large-scale investigations. And then, nothing. From then on, the issue was never taken up again and simply disappeared into oblivion. And if you follow what the Smithsonian has to say about it, there is a very simple reason. There was neither a researcher named Kincaid who was in their service, nor any ancient Egyptian sites that were discovered in the Grand Canyon. Consequently, we would be dealing with the classic case of a fake, a joke that an editor has allowed himself. However, there are people who, despite this, believe that there could be something to the story. According to them, the Smithsonian Institute is known for sweeping under the table any discovery that does not coincide with the official historiography. Grizzly Corpse Findings Gabor Bertzi Tomaskani had gone to the Grand Canyon in August 2021 and was considered missing soon after. Since there was no trace of the Hungarian who lived in Hong Kong, a search party set out to find the missing man. And indeed, a short time later they recovered the remains of a male person but it was not the man they were looking for. 
Instead, responders had discovered the body of Scott Walsh, who was last seen in 2015 getting off a shuttle bus. In detail, the body was found about five kilometers from where his backpack had previously been discovered. But unfortunately, there was no happy ending for Gabor's family either. His lifeless body was recovered about 130 meters below the canyon rim a few days after his disappearance. Afterwards, the authorities determined that the Hungarian had fallen to his death 